Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2024. This is the solution video to paper one, question 10. So the final question of this paper, a company grows and sells plants. The function W of X is defined below. It can be used to model the height in millimeters of a water spinach plant for the first 35 days after it starts to grow. Here's the formula here, or the function rather, and it's a cubic function. Here, x is the number of days after the plant starts to grow, where x is between 0 and 35. Use w of x to estimate the height of a water spinach plant after 15 days. So that is simply find w of 15. So w of 15 is 0 0.667 times 15 plus 1.5 times 15 squared minus 0, 0.0. 2, 5 times 15 cubed. Into your calculator it goes and you'll get 263 millimeters for five marks. Write down W prime, the derivative of W of X. So differentiate this here. So W prime of X is equal to 0 0.667 plus 3x, that's 2 multiplied by 1.5, minus uh, 3 multiplied by 0 0.025 is 0 0.075x squared. And that's for another 5 marks. Let's go on over to part B. The height of a different plant can be modelled by the function p of x, where x is again the number of days after the plant starts to grow. The derivative is p prime of x is equal to 1.1 plus 2.73x minus 0.078x squared. Find the range of values of x for which p prime of x is greater than 24. So just let this here greater than 24. So 1.1 plus 2.73x minus 0.078x squared is greater than 24. Get everything to one side, write it with a leading coefficient of zero as a quadratic, so, or leading coefficient, a positive leading coefficient rather. We'll get 0.078x squared minus 2.73x, and then you'll get 1.1 uh, minus the 24, and then change the sign to get plus 22.9 and that's less than zero. Uh, quadratic with some decimals as coefficients, so we're gonna to go to the quadratic formula, so x is equal to minus b, so that's 2.73 plus and minus the square root of b squared, so minus 2.73 squared minus 4ac, so a is 0 0.078, and c is 22.9, all over 2a, so that's 2 times 0 0.078. So using your quadratic formula, pop that into the calculator. First with the plus, then with the minus, you'll get x is equal to 21.06, or x is equal to 13.94. And they're asking for the range of values for which p of x is greater than 24. So when is x between those values uh, and it's a, a natural whole number. So x is gonna be greater than or equal to 14, but less than or equal to 21. So that's your answer there. And that is worth 10 marks. <clears throat> the next part, part C of the final question, the logo for the company is shown on the coordinate diagram below. The logo is the region enclosed by three curves find as the following c of x is equal to x squared s of x is 2x minus x squared and k of x is the image of x, s of x under axial symmetry so we have the quadratic curve we have s of x and we have k of x use integration to work out the area of the logo and it gives you a nice hint there uh, find the area of the logo in the first quadrant and then double it okay so you just have to do your work once and then multiply by two so to find the area under the curve, it's going to be twice 
the area. So I'm just going to do twice the integral to get the area under curve of zero between zero and one of s minus c. So this is s minus c that'll leave you with the shaded area dx. So that's equal to twice the integral from zero to one. Uh, s minus c, so that is this minus this, so 2x minus x squared minus x squared. 2x minus x squared minus x squared dx. So just to simplify it a bit, that's equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of 2x minus 2x squared, 2x minus 2x squared dx. So go ahead and integrate. So that's equal to 2 times, if I integrate 2x um, minus 2x squared, 2x is 2x squared over 2, 2 is cancel, minus 2x cubed over 3, and that's going to be evaluated between 0 and 1. So that's equal to 2 times, that's still being 1, so that's x squared, so that's 1 squared minus 2 times 1 cubed over 3, and then that would be minus, that's sub in 0. Well, if you sub in 0, it's all just 0, so we just write down minus 0. So that is equal to 2 over 3 square units. That is the area of the logo. And that's worth 5 marks. And then on to the last bit of the last question of that paper. The function k can be written in the form k of x is equal to x squared plus bx plus c, where b and c are constants. Find the value of b and the value of c. Uh, remember that k is the image of s under axial symmetry. So k is the image of x. So that means k of x is equal to my, or s of minus x. That's what it means to be uh, in axial symmetry. So that means k of x is equal to x, s of minus x. So that's 2. And instead of x, you put in minus x, minus minus x squared. So that's k of x is equal to minus 2x. And then minus by minus, um, well, actually square first, you get plus, And then by minus again, you get minus. So that's minus x squared. Um, and plus zero because they do have a c in there. So our a is the coefficient of the x squared and our b is the coefficient of the x. Uh, so, um, or rather, no, that is a, uh, c is the zero. So they're not looking for a, they're looking for b and c. So b is minus two and c is zero. So just be careful on that one that you you didn't mix up and put in the A like I almost did there. And then the final part. So in this part, uh, P and OR are constants, with P and OR um, an element of the real numbers, and OR is between 0 and 0 0.9 P. The company sells bags of plant food. The usual price of one bag is P euro. In a sale, the customer can choose to pay using one either option one or option two as follows. Option one is the usual price, reduced by 10% and then reduced by a further or euro. Option two, the usual price reduced by or euro and then this new price reduced by 10%. Which option one or two is cheaper? Write the price for each option, uh, one and two in terms of P and or to support your answer. So let's do option one and we'll do option two. So option one, the usual price reduced by 10, so that's P, Reduced by 10% is 0.9p, and then reduced by or euro, so minus or. For option two, the usual price reduced by or euro, so zero uh, p minus or, and then reduced by 10%, so then multiplied by 0 0.9. So that's equal to 0.9p minus 0 0.9 or. So which is better, 0.9p minus or, or 0.9p minus 0.9 or, well, option one is obviously cheaper. So option one is the answer. And that's for 10 marks. And the one up here, sorry, just forgot to write the marks, was 15 marks. Okay, thanks for watching. 
Uh, if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. And I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.